What's good, gang? Y'all see we back. Man, I had to jump in another trade. I wanted to get some of that money back. That uh, Some of that $140 that I was down. So we going to uh, check this, see where we at right now. And... Yeah, we definitely should be. So we $70 back, $100 back off that $140 I lost. So I could jump out right here and, and be able to call it basically a $40 loss. Or I can hold it if I feel it's going to continue to drop, which I, the, the overall sentiment is looking as if the price wants to go down. It broke the, uh, tr it violated the trend line here. So it's pushing back up. So this is my last day trade. So what I want to do is hold on to this one because I feel I could make a lot. I, I feel I, not a lot, but I could at least make that 140 back. That's my goal. If I could make a little bit more back, that would be nice too. But honestly, anything back, you know, is nice. So let me see what we're doing right here. So the buyers and the sellers are struggling for control. Sellers are pushing. Sellers just took over control. Price is dropping even further. Volume is decreasing, so it might they might struggle here. So you see we up $148 right now off that $140 that we lost. So we could take this profit right now, close this trade out, and we wouldn't have lost anything. But I feel we can get a little bit off of this, though. 145, 158. So you see we jumped in this at the perfect time. So let's try to figure out where the next support is, where we think that we should get out of this trade. So we up $180 right now on this trade. So let's, let's see. Let's see. What is it telling us? Short candles mean indecisiveness on the direction that the uh, price should be moving but they pushing it down right now with it with it having this little pattern right here going down that's going to convince a lot of people to want to sell people start to get scared but this price right here uh, is kind of low so the buyers jumped in buyers look like they fighting for it because I'm in a put right now. I hope the sellers take over this. So it's not really a... I mean, I guess we got a little support here. Not too much, though. Nothing I'm worried about. So you see, we, we had 195. So it's going... The price... That means the price is going up. We need it to go down. So hopefully... This candle, if it phases out right here, it loses steam. So the sellers are pushing back. The buyers got control right now. The buyers are are, are winning. So the buyers won that uh, that minute. So the buyers pushing back right now. So. As you see, I'm back down negative ten seven dollars on this trade, negative twenty five. So I should have definitely closed this trade out when I was up a hundred and eighty, you know what I'm saying, some dollars. But I got a feeling this might still drop. Oh, it's going back up, y'all. We got a resistance right here, so I'm hoping it doesn't break that resistance. We got to increase. The volume is kind of the same. It's not overbought, so it might keep increasing. But the purpose of this is just to show y'all how to, you know, make y'all money or to make it back. I'm a little more risky because of my style, but you've seen I could have got out right there and made all my money back. So right now the buyers are definitely uh, taking control. So they just got above the resistance. 
I mean, yeah, they just broke above the resistance, which was the old support at 518. I'm hoping after this next reversal we get a big uh a big sell off. Okay, we going the other direction now, y'all. We back my way. So hopefully it doesn't. Okay, so a doji, a doji candle. This candle right here is called a doji candle. So that's a sign of it could be a reversal on increasing value. So the buyers and the sellers are fighting right now. The buyers are definitely got it. But I'm, I'm thinking once it hits that uh, 522 mark again or somewhere near there, we might see another sell-off. Okay, we got more sellers stepping in. Let's see if it can break back under that support. Nope, buyers taking control. It's clowning right now. So it looked like I just kind of, I got I got stuck holding the bag right now. So I'm gonna probably be in this trade for at least an hour, maybe, unless it breaks this uh, trend line right here. It's because we just got the Doji, but we got a couple Doji candles, so it's not that significant. Increase on value. I mean, not value, but volume. So I'm only down $22 now on this one. Let's see, twenty-seven dollars. So hopefully this turn around again. This time, once it turn around, I'm gonna just close the trade out. So down forty-five, down sixty. So because I, so sometimes you gotta take your window of opportunity when you got it, because sometimes it might be a while before you get it again, or you might not even get it again. But I'm glad it's under this support right now. So if the sellers can take control, we might be seeing a downtrend. I really don't want to make these videos too long so y'all can watch it all the way through but I'm trying to actually show y'all the complete trade but I guess I could just wrap up my, uh, my my strategy behind it so what I'm waiting for is this to basically get back to the point where I can either make that 140 back so let me show you so either here where I can where this now I gotta make this eight the 62 back 60 now 50 so I, I basically want this to go in the green because then that'll help me make some of my 140 that I lost on the last trade back. On trades like that, you got to take profit because if you end up in another bad trade like this one, which is not a bad trade, I just got to wait. You just got to be patient sometimes. But if you end up in another trade like this, then, you know, 
you you stuck even further. So it's best to just take them profits when you got them. Okay, let's go, sellers. So it tried to test this. It te it tested this area. It tested the five twenty. You know, three different times right here. One, two, three. It tried to test it again here. It didn't didn't make it. So now it's it's looking like it, it might want to drop. Buyers just took that candle though. So it made it back above this support line right here. So as long as it's above this support line is, you know, it has a little support on it. We need it to break under this line. It's fighting, y'all. Uh. Just got to be patient. Now, generally, in a in a uh, a bull market, which is a uptrending market, you normally don't want to bet against it. You want to go with the flow. But because it hit uh, a new all-time high. Wait, no, did it hit? Uh, yeah, I think that is the new all-time high. So because it hit that, you know, I had a feeling that it might go back down. But look at it. It's, it's ripping right now. It just retested that uh, 520, broke it. But it's getting closer to becoming oversold as it as it hits this 70 mark. That means it's it's overbought. Not oversold, I meant to say uh overbought. As it moves down here to this 40 line, around 35, it becomes oversold. So right now people are moving up to slightly overbuying it. So I wouldn't get too afraid right now, because once it becomes overbought, it's gonna drop back down. So right now they just letting the profit kind of, I mean not the profit, but the share price just go up. So the the market has basically decided that the price should move up. Seller showing a little resistance here at uh, 520 now. So now this is a new resistance right here that it won't break past. Well, that it's trying to break past. So if it can't break past this resistance, then it's going to come resistance, then it'll come back down and retest the support. And five, what is this, like 19? Oh, it's looking like it want to break that. Yeah, sellers ain't taking over. It's getting a, a lower shadow. Broke that uh, 520, it's at 521. So hopefully we come back down. Hopefully sellers step in hard right here. And we get a long, a nice uh, long red candle. If we get a nice long red candle, then the rest of them are going to follow. So here we go. Hopefully. Let's see where we at. Uh, we down 100. We down 80 bucks. 77. So let's hope this candle finishes off red. Okay, we just finished that. Nope, nope. That candle didn't finish yet. Ooh, it's just getting a long shadow under there. A long shadow on the bottom signifies that the price opened uh, at one point and it fought low, but it, they, the buyers fought it back up. But surprisingly, it's still going down. I thought that might have been a sign that it might have wanted to uh, go back up. But the volume didn't increase, so decreasing value on that probably is the reason why. So we at 518 right now. Let's see where we at. We down 100. We only down 50 bucks now. 62, 57. 
So let's hope this trend continues. Let's hope a lot of buyers step in and get afraid. As the market gets uh, it moves later in the day, you start to see less and less highs. Okay, we got two red candles. This might start to, you know, signal some uh, fear. So we might get a lot of traders that jump in and sell off right here over that uh, support at 518, 518.95. So basically 519. They decide right now, do they want to, do they want to follow it? Do they want to fall for it? And it looks like the buyer's taking over. Yep, the buyers just took over. Man, it's a rough fight right here. All these short candles is indecisiveness. Means it's it's just gonna bounce back and forth until we get some com convincing candles that you know move it in one direction or the other. See, the exciting part is only when the money change. I have to watch the charts and, you know, wait for it to go the direction you want it to. That can be pretty boring. So it's having a hard time fighting. So when it has a hard time fighting, it usually goes the opposite way. If it fights, 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 and it won't go that way, it'll try the other way. Until that line closes out. So we right on the support. We just broke underneath it. I hope we get a nice long red candle. If we finish off red underneath the support, you can expect more of them to follow. The buyers, they propping it back up. Let's go, 518. So the buyers struggling. The buyers is fighting with everything in them right now. Sellers fighting hard to bring it down. Oh, buyers just got it. Buyers just clinched that one. But we just broke underneath it. Let's see where we at. We only down 20 bucks right now. 27, 25. So let's hope this continues. See, it just jumped all the way back up to that support. But we got decreasing volume, so hopefully...
So the buyers just fought this one all the way back above the support. And it's looking like they want to retest the resistance. If they fail, but this is a, a large green candle. So unless it closes in something like a doji, then it might be signifying that the market is moving back up. Because this green candle will will signal other buyers to step in. see where we at so we down 130 y'all ouch almost another so we down another 140 so we down more than what I tried to save or what I tried to make back so that's why when you up in your profit you gotta take profit now I'm down 165 so this is just going up right now so I'm definitely waiting until this go down All right, y'all, I'm going to wrap this video up. Hopefully, I get the chance to update y'all and let y'all know how this one went. Let's see where it's at right now. It's not looking too good. 140, 185, ouch. You know, that's not a lot, but it's just the fact that I entered this trade only to win more money back, and now I'm down over $200. But that's just the name of the game. So I'll see y'all on the next one, y'all. We out.